hello guys how are you hope uh, you are well so today we are going to learn packet flow in palo alto firewall so i was giving an interview and uh, once the interviewer asked one or two basic questions then he immediately asked me that do you know the packet flow in palo alto firewall that if a packet enters inside the firewall then based on which criteria the packet is inspected and it is allowed to go out of the firewall so in short i want to say that this is quite important topic and not in fact only in palo alto firewall if you give interview of any of the other firewall as well then this question is asked that how the packet is traveling inside our firewall so packet flow is a very important thing so today session will be basically our theoretical session uh, we will not be doing any lab uh, for that because that is not required at all we will be focusing only on the one screenshot we are having let me clear the screen i am having one screenshot here not in fact screenshot that an image so we will be discussing this in the detail so let it zoom it a bit perfect so this is basically we are receiving any of the packet like this the packet is received in any of its interface and once it is entering the interface of the firewall then what it is doing it is extracting its l2 l3 and l4 information means that it is checking that uh, what are the frame size right so if there is like a frame is destined for the interface of the firewall or if not this is the firewall the packet is just here right it has to be passed to this direction but it is just enter the interface of the firewall so here it is checking that whether this frame is destined for this firewall or it is not or if it is not having any error in the frame right so based on this if there is an error on that frame then it will discard it or if it is not intended for the interface of this firewall then also it is going to be discarded same thing is for that l3 information like uh, if it is a malicious ip packet like it is for the pink of death right we are having a security mechanism for that pink of death is basically like our dos attack denial of services so if our firewall find out that this packet is basically part of our denial of services then also it is going to drop it it is not process it process it further it can be the case that our ip packet is having the protocol number zero so whatever i am talking about these things are basically fields of our ip packet if you look on to the headers of the ip packet these values are there right so if the ip protocol number is zero so basically whatever the errors are happening on the l3 level based on those it will discard the packet and same thing is going to for the l4 like this is uh, tcp truncated or it is having zero port number so based on these information means that we are having criteria for l2 l3 and l4 if they are having a frame check sequence error like a frame has been corrupted then also it is being dropped at the interface it is not going to be processed further it has been dropped at this level only not going to be processing further all right so once if all these l2 l3 and l4 information are fulfilled now it is checking the zone lookups like which of the interface is the ingress interface and on which zone is that interface right so based on that one it will just check it one more part is important that is our ip fragmentation 
these checks are passed our ip packet is genuine but if anyhow we find out that this ip was fragmented fragmented is basically we break the ip packets right so it if it was broken part of the inter, uh, ip packet and it is reaching here and as a part of the mechanism normally these are buffered at this interface these are buffered buffered and buffered but if anyhow this buffer is full and our firewall cannot hold it further so in that case also this packet is being dropped it will not process it further all right if all these requirements are fulfilled then the packet is going further means that if any of this ingress error it was having whatever we just discussed then it will just simply discard the packet it is not going to be processing further if there is no error all checks are passed and everything is all right then it is going for the next mode it is checking that whether it is not inspecting any sensitive information means that uh, some of the cases we bypass the firewall decryption rules like uh, we are having any sensitive information traveling like for any banking website or any other uh, confidential information is traveling but we uh, trust the sender and the receiver that uh, nothing malicious is happening or it might not happen only for the trusted cases so we define some rules that in that case our firewall should not inspect that traf traffic through our firewall so if there is a rule for that one and it is not required to inspect it will bypass all the checks and it will simply pass on to the bottom if you go at the bottom you see that it is going to the packet forwarding any egress interface it is traveling to but if that is not the case and uh, we have to inspect that traffic then it is reaching it to the ipsec and ssl vpn tunnel packet means that uh, whenever it is reaching further or these all checks are happening on the interface only right it means that we are having this firewall at the ingress level only these decisions are taken so it at the interface level it is checking that whatever the packet it is received it is matching to any of the tunnel means that any ipsec tunnel we have set up and based on uh, those tunnels only or this uh, packet is belonging to that tunnel then it is going to decrypt it we are having a set up a rule for the that tunnel decryption it will send to that decryption part and again it will do the same processing means that if it is part part of the decryption it will go and pass the same procedure whatever we have to do it once again so now again it the packet will pass through this one once it is passed these checks now it's turn to check two things whether the packet is having a session means that this packet is traveling first time means inside our firewall or it has been traveling means that it is checks the firewall session lookup so do we have the session in our firewall means whenever any of the traffic is traveling so it is normally maintaining the sessions that i am passing this traffic right for some time this hold on that information our firewall hold on that information with it that we are passing this traffic so that information is set up in the firewall if it is having like we are having a session ongoing then it is not checking that further now the question comes that how the firewall comes to know that if there is a session or not right or let us suppose uh, you are a uh, analyzer you are inspecting the traffic how will you come to know that this packet is traveling first time to the firewall or getting inside the firewall first time or already it was having a session so for that one 
the first thing is that one we have to check the flag of the ip header you know the flag you don't know <laughs> okay so these are the basically sin right you need no uh, you knew, uh, know this name right sin ek push right and uh, we are having reset rst as well urgent such type of the flags we are having in the ip packet so if the sin bit is set you know right tcp three way handshake so in case of tcp three way handshake what happens that the client request to the server let's suppose this is our client this is our server so it just send the sin bit set as one so it means that we are trying to set up a connection so whenever the packet is entering through the, our firewall and if like a sin bit is one it means that it is a new connection it is it doesn't have any sessions inside it and we uh, we are trying to make a new connection for that one and if it is not sin bit set then obviously we can assume that this is like not a new packet we already having a session for that one in that case normally our push or other fields will be there not the sin bit so let us suppose it is a new packet means that we are entering the first time so whenever if it is the entering the first time so it will take the slow path you see that these are two paths forward firewall fast path firewall slow path so if it is a session already set up then it is going to take a fast path if it is the new packet or we don't have the session for that packet then it is going to take the slow path means our packet has been forwarded to this direction our slow path now what things it is going to be checking on the slow path let's have a look on these let me make another color Let me say remove it. It is quite large. All right. So in the our forwarding lookup. What it does? is checks the egress interface just mind these words it gets the lookup only right get egress interface zone vsys from the l3 route and l2 fdb lookup it is not forwarding the traffic right now but it is just checking that where what is the egress interface of this packet all right once it is be observed or checked then it is checking the nat policy that are we doing any nat nat means network network address translation that are our ip addresses are being translated either it can be our source ip address or it can be destination ip address so if any of the uh, ip address is going to be translated then we have to check we will take the decisions we will translate those ip address and forward it further right so means that we done the nat lookup before the firewall policy security lookup this is very important questions and always ask the interview that what happens first either it is nat first or the security policy first so here you have to be clear that we are making the nat first and then we are going for the security policy lookup all right so in the security policy lookup it will check the rules that we are having this ip address to that destination ip address allowed or not if it is not matching any of the 
specified rules then do we have the default rule means that we are allowing the communication to the same zone or it is going to the different zones if it is not matching any of them then obviously the traffic will be denied based on the default rule to one zone from one zone to another zone the, we are having the default rule that the communication is not allowed it will be matching here if by chance that uh, the traffic is allowed then it will be processing further so obviously it's just rule match with the action allow if it is no match then it is going to discard the packet and if it is having a match and uh, that session it uh, means that uh, the traffic is allowed then it will create and install a session for that one right it will set up a session so once the session is set up now we are back to the same phase where we started right we are here and that's how we are on the fast path correct so uh, let me stop here because this is going to be a very large session and uh, i don't want to make it quite large so meanwhile you have come to know that how the new session is going to be installed and once we have the session then what is going to happen i am going to get it on the next part so it is really inconvenient for you guys to watch a longer time i understand that uh, you guys are so busy so in order to do that one i have broken it in the second part and uh, we will continue in the second part meanwhile if you have any questions whatever till now we have covered uh, just write in the comment section i will reach out to reach out to you guys all right so let's uh, see if you want to to continue then please come to the next session i will be covering all that in the part 2 all right